I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand a very basic concept of finding slope of a tangent line. The question here is how to find slope at a point 1 comma 2 on y equals to x cube plus x. To understand I've just given you a sketch of the graph for y equals to x cube plus x and the point is p 1 comma 2 at which we need to find slope of the tangent line. So let us say this line which is represented as L here going through P is tangent to the cubic polynomial x cubed plus x. Now to find slope of a tangent line we need to consider two points right that is very important so we need to consider two points we already know one which is p for us and the point is 1 comma 2 how do you find the next point so we'll assume the next point q to be very close to p so that the distance the x value here is just uh, let's say h away where h is approaching 0 so x value for q is 1 plus h in that case y value will be we can replace 1 plus h in this equation is that okay x cube plus x so I can replace x with 1 plus h so it becomes 1 plus h whole q plus 1 plus h you get the concept so if x value is 1 plus h y value will be y will be replace x with 1 plus h correct so that is how we get x and y values of second point on the curve right now if this point q is very close to p in that case this line will not be a secant but a tangent so we are saying h is approaching 0 that is the point if h is very close to 0 h is approaching 0 then 1 plus kind of small value will make p and q very close so secant approaches tangent right so with this condition as h approaches 0 secant pq approaches tangent right so this is the concept which helps us to find slope of the tangent line so this method is also called difference quotient now we can say the slope pq is equals to difference in y values so that is the y value right so which is 1 plus h whole q plus 1 plus h minus the y value which is 2 divided by x value 1 plus h minus 1 is it okay so that is how you get the slope now let me expand all this and simplify i hope you remember the formula a plus b whole q let me write it down for you here. So a plus b whole q is equals to a q plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b q. Right? So we'll use this formula here. So 1 plus 3 times 1 times h plus 3 times 1 times h square right? plus h q so that is the expansion of the first term the second term is 1 plus h and then minus 2 divided by 1 plus h minus 2 is h now here what we see is 1 plus 1 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 we are left with these three terms four terms rather so in these four terms we can take h common so let me first write these four terms which is 3h plus 3h square plus h cube plus h divided by h 3h plus h is 4h right I'll take h common so we can write this as h 3 plus 1 is 4 so get 4 plus 3h plus h square is it okay divided by h now h and h cancel out so you're left with 4 plus 3h plus h square now since h is approaching 0, 
the slope PQ approaches the value 4. Do you see that? Value 4. And therefore, the answer is slope of tangent is 4, right? So that is how you find slope of the tangent line on a curve very easily. And this method is called difference quotient method. So this is difference quotient. So I'll provide you with some more links so that you can practice and you know get hold of this method. This is very important. Now here I did 3h plus h as 4h. Let me write here. And then we had plus 3h square plus h cube divided by h. And then you know that is how we got this 4. So so that is the method and I hope it is absolutely clear to you. Try with different kinds of functions and see how to find slope of tangent on any curve at any given point. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.